Hello, my name is Kim and welcome to the channel where I try to share how I live my best healthy life while following the WW personal points plan. And today we're doing a grocery haul. Yay! Thank you everyone for clicking on this video. If you are new here, my name is Kim and I am on the WW personal points plan. Now my groceries are sometimes WW friendly and sometimes not because I have to feed my family of four. I have a husband and two young boys plus two dogs, but the dogs don't eat this food most of the time. So I'm gonna get this unpacked and dig in to this grocery haul. I'm also gonna play with this shirt, trying to figure it out. Do you ever unpack your groceries and have this moment going, I spent how much on that much? I am definitely having that moment. But we are going to dig into this haul. Like I said, I went to Kroger and I spent about $130. There were some things that weren't in um, stock at my Kroger. And then I also did a major snack haul at Trader Joe's and Aldi. So some things are just not, not in this mess. But I did wanna share my meal plan for the week. So we are gonna be doing a Thai inspired soft taco with shrimp and I already have the shrimp in my freezer. I'm also gonna be making some lasagna and I have some fixings to do just quick and easy salads. The temperature is finally warming up here in Indiana and I'm looking forward to some fresh things. And I'm really hoping to kind of cook through my freezer and just really get an idea of what we have. So the next time we restock at the butcher and Aldi that we know what we need. So first up, grapes were on sale. Grapes are probably my favorite fruit to snack on. And since they were 99 cents a pound, I bought a lot. I've also really been enjoying blueberries recently. To me, blueberries are kind of a splurge when it comes to the budget, but they are so good. And then, speaking of fresh produce, these tomatoes just do not want to stay closed, but tomatoes for those salads, and then also for those salads, I have some goat cheese crumbles. These are 80 calories per one quarter cup, four servings per the container. Now, I usually just portion it out so it's one point, so maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, because as much as I love goat cheese, I don't want to spend all my points on cheese. I also picked up this Simply 60 Vinaigrette from Marzetti, 60 calories for two tablespoons. And this will be great for some summer inspired salads. For my Thai inspired shrimp tacos, we are gonna be making an Asian slaw. So I took a shortcut here with the coleslaw mix. Otherwise I only make you know, like half a head of cabbage and then the rest just hangs out in my fridge. I have really been loving carrots, but not just raw roasting them. Oh my gosh, roasted carrots are so delicious. Highly recommend it. So I bought two pounds here so I can have some to snack, but roast alongside some dinner. Also for our Thai shrimp tacos, I have some Mission white corn tortillas here, two tortillas for 100 calories or three points. I also have some cilantro lime rice. Now this is just microwave and go, but this is not one portion. So if you buy this, just watch out. One container is 370 calories or 11 points. So just be aware. We have Velveeta cheese slices, 35 calories or one point, these are great on breakfast sandwiches. I eat them a ton. I did buy a ton of cheese. I have two bags of shredded cheddar. I seem to cook a lot with cheese, so it's always good to have for the kids, whatever. That is not 2%. I do have some 2% cheddar, but that's four points per serving at 120 calories. Giant bag of mozzarella for the lasagna. And then we also have this Spanish rice. I don't love Spanish rice, but Mark does, so that is for him. We have some deli ham. 
My oldest son needs to pack his lunch at least one day next week and he requested ham. Now we also have, so Chambani Greek yogurt. This is for Mark. He likes to pack that in his lunches. We also have just some eggs. Eggs are a zero point food for me. They are not for Denali and he is obviously very heartbroken about it. One of the things I want to try to make this week is a dump cake. So I have some peaches in a can and then a sugar-free cake mix. We're gonna have to figure out how it goes because they didn't give me the right peaches, but we're gonna live. I have been craving a filet -O fish Thank you, Lent. Thank you, McDonald's. So I bought some tartar sauce. I have a feeling this is 130 calories per two tablespoons. So it's probably like 90,000 points, but used judiciously. It's five points for two tablespoons or I'll do like one tablespoon of this, one tablespoon of reduced fat mayonnaise. You'll be good to go. It was just St. Patrick's Day and this redhead had to buy Lucky Charms, but not for myself. My youngest said that if I bought Lucky Charms, he would actually eat them and that might streamline our morning just a little bit. Some oven ready lasagna noodles for our lasagna as well as this lasagna pan one. It just makes cleanup so easier, so much easier. But I'm also doing one for home and then one for lasagna for love or lasagna love. I was inspired to look up that organization by Sophie and I am now signed on. So I'm making a lasagna and we'll deliver it to someone's house in a couple nights and they will, their family will get to have a very warm, comforting meal. And I'm always looking for ways that are easy to fit into my schedule, but still help someone out. And so that works out for me. I bought some of the grilled chicken breast strips from Tyson. These are so convenient and easy. These will be for our salads. I sometimes will just heat them up on my own. I have been eating a lot of rice cakes lately. Peanut butter, protein powder mixed with a little bit of water. Just amazing PD2. One rice cake is one point or 40 calories. My kiddos love Chef Warrior D. So there you go. We have a few cans of that. Now, normally I buy chicken broth in the carton, but I just, my pantry is just running out of room ever since we kind of like re, reorganized from the kitchen remodel. I just, I haven't found my groove. So I bought the bouillon cubes instead, just to give me a little more room in that pantry. I wasn't sure what kind of marinara sauce to buy since I am giving one of the lasagnas to another family. So I just went with the private selection marinara traditional tomato sauce, 70 calories per half cup. You know, this is one that probably has sugar in it, but I do feel good about that brand. And it is just two points for half a cup, which isn't that bad when you look at store-bought marinara. I know everybody loves the Rouse. Rayos, whatever it's called, but you know what I mean. Maybe you don't know what I mean. Big bag of chips for the kiddos since they have to take lunch at least one day next week. Now, the trick will be making sure they don't eat these before they go on their school field trip and have to pack a lunch. Yes, it was a very low key grocery haul, but that really does it. You know, nothing super crazy this week, really trying to eat out of that pantry and eat what's in the freezer so that we can do a restock later in the month. I would love to know what you're making this week on your menu plan and be sure to hit that red subscribe button, turn on those notifications and hit the like button if you are into grocery hauls and meal planning videos. And until next time, do something you love.